Tyler is with us in Orlando. Hi, Tyler. How are you? Good. How are you? Better than I deserve, man. What's up? All right. So I am uh, 22, newly married, and I'm about $7,000 in credit card debts between me and my wife. Mm-hmm. And we are trying to, money's starting to get a little tight between all these debts, and we're trying to figure out a way to get it taken care of as soon as possible. Um, through the help of a friend, I started using the Every Dollar app and Good. started creating a budget for myself. And Good. it's pretty shocking to see how little extra money I have every month. <clears throat> and one thing that I was, the main question that I'm asking is my dad and my stepmom, they recently did a uh, debt consolidation to take care of all of their credit card debt that they had. Mm-hmm. They had a little bit more than I. Mm-hmm. And they were advising that it's something that I should consider because of how it cut down the monthly and all their debts and had it going to one place and they got to pay it off a lot quicker. But I was was curious if that was something that would be advised either to do or against. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it kind of sweeps it under the rug is what it does. It, it keeps you in debt longer. And, <clears throat> um, and, and, you know, because there's only one way that that uh, payment goes down and that's if you extend the length of the term because you're not going to reduce the interest rate substantially with a debt consolidation loan. And so it's it's kind of an illusion is what it is. Uh, what is your income? Um, between me and my wife, it's about $40,000. Mm-hmm. And what other debt other than the 7000 do you have? Uh, we have two newer vehicles. Ah, what do you owe in your cars? Uh, between the both, no, each um, one. Each one. Each one, about thirty-five and thirty-eight thousand dollars. Yes, sir. And you make forty thousand. Yes, sir. I think we found the problem. Your cars are insane, dude. Yep. Absolutely, completely nuts. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder you can't breathe. Man, you have ca- you have seventy thousand dollars worth of cars. You make forty thousand. You know yes, what that sir. means? It means you have about six times as much to, in vehicles as you need. I mean, like way out there in outer space. Yeah, so uh, I, I think I can help you. You need to sell both cars immediately. And so even if I did that, I mean, I'd obviously go upside down quite a bit. So, I mean, how would I take care of that? Dude, you're so broke you can't breathe. What do you got? What do you got? Twelve hundred dollars in car payments? Um, almost. Yeah, it's eleven hundred. Yeah, Dad, come man, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So even if you did that, what do you mean? Even if you did that, dude, you have to do that. You're gonna go bankrupt. You're not gonna make it. These cars are—they're pounding your face in. You have got to get rid of them. Like acid is in your dad gum hair, man. I mean, you've got to go nuts here. So, yeah, you're going to have to borrow the difference or whatever you've got to do to get them sold. You're probably upside down in both of them. But I would rather you be $10,000 in debt than $70,000 in debt and driving two beaters. You'd get your life back. Right. Yeah. You know, walk out in the driveway and and don't, don't get a spray can in your hand for real. But in your mind, I want you to spray paint across the side of those cars brain damage because that's what they represent, dude. It's absolutely nuts. You are, that's your problem. It ain't your $7,000 in credit card debt or a debt consolidation on that. That's a one on a scale of one to 10. This is a 15 on a scale of one to 10. You need to go nuclear on these cars and get rid of them. That's your only shot. I don't know if you'll do it or not, but that's what you should do. If you don't, in three years, you're going to call me talking about the repos that you had and how you had to go bankrupt early in your marriage. And I hope I don't get that call from you. I'll help you either way, but I want you to be smart, not stupid. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. You can do this. You know, that really is a message. Whether you've got $270,000 in student loan debt or $27,000, whether you've got a $50,000 income or a $500,000 income, 